Well, we're at lesson four, and you have had some really great conversations with your daughter. Hopefully you're having some fun and you're looking forward to this month. And again, if it's not going as you have envisioned, trust the process. Stay consistent and lead your daughter. Don't let her lead you, okay? God is working, even if you can't quite see it yet. This month, we're talking about materialism versus simplicity and the idea of sacrificial living. I want to tease out these words a little bit with you because there's a lot of pre-connotation and our stories play a role uh, in how we perceive materialism, simplicity, and what sacrificial living is really about. Jesus modeled a life of sacrificial living. And yet in some church cultures, we can kind of take that to the extreme. And we create a dynamic with, that's called codependency. Counselors called codependency anything where you are living your life for the needs of others. You dismiss everything that you need, want, desire, and you're all about the other person. As you listen to that, you might go, well, isn't that what the Bible says? And I want us to be careful that we don't teach our daughters to be codependent, but rather interdependent. This is a concept that, you know, even Jesus said himself, that the greatest commandment is to love others as you love yourself. There's this both and that we want to teach our daughters. So when we're thinking about uh, growing confidence in our changing body, it's normal that girls will look at uh, clothing and hairstyles and looking to our outer appearance to make us feel more confident. I want us to normalize that. And yet what we also don't want to do is to make that our identity. Yeah, to collect more clothes, to make everything about who we are, about our shoes and our, and our shirts and our hairstyles. As your daughter gets older and older, she'll become more and more aware of the differences that girls have in their styles, their budgets, and maybe even how they decorate their bedrooms. And so we're really laying a foundation for what God is calling us to, which is sacrificial living. It's thinking about loving ourselves and loving others in this equity, that I don't collect everything, that it's not all about me, but it's not all about you either. It's this balance and that I can meet my needs. God is going to provide good things for me. And that I can also look around and see the needs around me and to be able to share, maybe even um, give away something that I would really want. The activities that I'm providing for you this month are really exercises that'll be based on you, your own family, your culture, your community. You're gonna look around and you're gonna get to ask God about how can we help others in our community? And what do we have that might be uh, something that, that someone else doesn't have and we can bless them and give to them? This is something we think about often around the holidays like Thanksgiving and Christmas and we just wanna expand our paradigm to the rest of the year. <laughs> When we think about when we go to school, uh, when we drive down the street, maybe even people in our church, um, in our neighborhood, and really creating a dynamic of confidence in our changing body is not just about materialism, about looking good, but it's also about recognizing the needs around us and sacrificing in a way that Jesus did. I'm really excited about this lesson for you, and I want you to just trust that God's gonna build on this over the years and you'll come back to these principles. And at the end of your lesson, you're gonna get the chance to wash one another's feet. If you haven't grown up in the church or even read this part of the Bible, this might be kind of a, an interesting activity, but really it's an experiential opportunity for you and your daughter to feel what it's like to serve someone. Jesus, of all people, washed his disciples' feet. Now feet were really filthy in the Bible days, right? They wore sandals or not, no shoes at all. And so everywhere they walked, their feet collected and it was dirty. And only the lowest of the lowest in the community would wash someone's feet. So when Jesus himself washes his disciples' feet, it's a symbolism of what he wanted us to do in the world around us. So it's a big concept that you're gonna make into a, a very uh, real moment with your daughter. Have fun washing one another's feet, thinking about what it is to serve one another and not always take in a world that's telling us we need more and we need to become more and a consumer mentality. This is gonna be a beautiful opportunity for you to see what God will do as he starts to change your daughter's heart as she looks around and sees the needs around her. 
confident girl can stand tall, trust God that he's gonna provide for her in his timing the needs that she has. She can serve others with joy and a cheerful heart.